I've just been mucking around the shed here again today. So uh, I thought I'd do a little video about uh, plasma cutter drag tips and the plasma cutter standoff guide. Uh, what's the difference? And do you actually need to use one with the other or can you get away with just using one? Um, anyway, I'll uh, do a little video and I'll show you the difference and I'll also show you how you can swap your torch out if you can't put your um, guide on the torch that you have already. So anyway guys, uh, same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, just come and say good day. And uh, let's watch this video, eh? So my standard torch here, guys, PT31, as you know, uh, it's my favourite torch. But I've got a second favourite that I haven't really mentioned much about, and I'll tell you the reason why. And this has got a standard drag tip in it. That's what they call it, it's a, a drag tip. It's an HF tip. And um, you tip there, obviously, you drag it along the middle, and it starts, and you start cutting. So that's all very well, that's a pretty simple explanation of a drag tip. But um, some of the torches, not only the pilot art ones, but uh, some of the HF ones have a uh, have a shield that you can put over, like a like a, a spacer that that will control like this. That will control, give you more control over your torch and everything else. But this this particular model torch here doesn't have it, so you can't put a. I've tried making all sorts of bits and pieces to put these spacers on this torch, and you you really can't do it unless you're mucking around. So the easiest option I found was to, just to buy another torch that had the option for the spacer. And uh, you don't need to have a pilot arc torch because the clearances between the end of the nozzle and your spacer, I'll show you in a minute, are that fine that uh, the spark will actually jump across. So that's good in itself. And this uh, spacer here, like standoff guide as they call it, just gives you a little bit more control. And uh, it's also better cutting when you're cutting on angles or you're following some pattern around. Like the which one I showed you with the tape the other day, you know the magnetic tape, I'll put a link up the top for that magnetic tape video if you want to look at that. But you can follow the tape around a lot easier with one of these than what you can with this because this keeps the heat away from your, your line that you're cutting whereas this is, gets quite hot next to your tape if you're using tape or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, drag, standard drag tip. So, uh, but you can have a drag tip also on pilot arc because they work both ways, well most of them do anyway. You can either push the button and the pilot arc comes out or you can touch it on your metal and then it'll start. So uh, you've got the best of both worlds with the, with the pilot arc. And most of the pilot arc torches have the, uh, have the um, space where you can put one of these shields. It might look a little bit different, but it all does the same thing. Anyway, I'll show you the other torch, guys. I'll show you this torch first, guys. Just a basic drag tip, PT31 torch. So you drag it along, you push your button, you drag it along, and it starts. Just like so. Like that, nothing really exciting about that. But the trouble is with that, you can't put a guide on it. There's no way that this, you can put a guide on this torch. So the uh, the only way you can do it basically is to change it either for like for a torch like this or like this. Now as you may notice, you might say, Pete, that torch hasn't got a guide on it either. So what are you talking about? Uh, the difference is with this, this torch here, is a AG60, which is my second favourite torch because they cut really, really nice. Just the consumables of these are a little bit more expensive than the consumables of them, but they're not a hell of a lot more expensive. But um, yeah, oh, it's a toss up. Oh, this is my first preference, but if you want a guide and you want to do some fancier cutting, I'd go for this torch here. But um, this here is interchangeable with another, with another ceramic cap that you can actually put the guide on top of. Anyway guys, I'll do a cut with this one and I'll show you. So this is the uh, AG60 torch guys. Uh, it's the same as this. This is an AG60 as well. Uh, just a different style. This is probably more ergonomic. Uh, that's a big flash word, eh? Ergonomic. Oh, I think it means you're just more comfy to hold in your hand. I don't know, but this is right. Works all right for me. Uh, these torches are cheap as too. So it's no big deal having, you know, a PT31 and one of these on hand if you want to use a, um, a standoff guide. But anyway, I'll show you just quickly how this one cuts. It cuts real good, eh? Yeah, it's a nice torch. They're a really good torch. They're a, they're a good consumable as well. Like I said, they're a little bit more expensive than the PT31, but not a hell of a lot more, probably 10%. And if you're doing a lot of fine cutting and that sort of thing, I'd, uh, I'd definitely um, go one of these. The only thing is that um, these are not reversible, whereas the other ones are. Anyway, it's not enough to stop waffling about that. So, um, so if we take, take the ceramic off here, all right, let's take the ceramic off, and then we can, 
you can buy it for ceramics like this and they have the groove in there see that see that groove in there so if we whack that one on there just screw them on like that and it looks exactly the same but it's just a little bit shorter see that and then what you do is you buy one of these I think these are about five bucks for ten or something stupid right and uh, these um, these ceramic cups are not very much dearer either like it's cheap as so you just uh, slide that over top of that like that like so see that yeah that's pretty good eh and even though this is not a pilot arc torch that distance is that close between here and here that it will jump the gap and you can use it with a guide on it so I'll show you Beautiful cut, and what that does is that makes you hold your torch exactly straight up and down. Like you're exactly straight up and down on your still. Whereas when you're using one without the guide on it, you can go sort of this way or that way, and then it, you, you're not getting the right sort of cut. Whereas this cuts directly down all the time. So that's your standoff guide because it's standing your torch off whatever you're cutting. If you follow that, it's probably as clear as mud, guys. But uh, yeah, so that's your standoff guide, and that's just the standard drag tip on there. So uh, that's about the only um, the only difference, basically, between the two torches. So if you want a torch like this, I'll put some links down below because they're as cheap as, and you can interchange it with a torch like this with your PT31. So depending on what you're doing, but you can't, you just unfortunately you can't get the ceramics on these that you can put a guide on it. And um, yeah, so it's a bit of a bugger really, but anyway, that's this is life I suppose. So uh, yeah, so I just use two torches. But I find this one here is actually a little bit better for cutting thicker steel. We can now have a go at that too if you want. Hold on. So uh, so when I cut the thicker stuff guys, like this half inch, I take the standoff guide off for the simple reason that you can get closer to your work. Um, it just seems that, that half a millimetre gap where it's got to jump the spark, it just, just, see, you see, it just seems to lose a little bit of power, you know. Especially when you're only running 40 or 50 yeah. inch. You need everything that you can get. Um, anyway, so we'll try and cut this. And uh, we'll, we'll have taken the guide off, obviously. See that? It's a uh, half inch. Just cut through that. Not really an issue. Uh, it wasn't a hell of a fast, but um, you know, it does go through it. Not a problem. So yeah, so I would take the guide off when I'm doing the thicker stuff. And when you're doing thinner stuff, change the thing and put the uh, put the guide back on again. Um, just makes life a lot easier because with this you can steer it. You can actually steer the torch a bit better. You don't have so much flopping from one side to the other. Anyway guys, that's about it for, uh, for this time. If you like my video, subscribe, remember to do the thing. Uh, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Um, if you know of some, um, where I can get some PT31 ceramics that have got a, a guide space on them, by all means let me know because I'd be really interested in uh, so you changing the torches. But if you have to change your torch, uh, like I say, I'll leave some links down below and these torches are cheap anyway. I mean you can have a PT31 torch and run this sort of torch as well, it's not going to make any difference. Anyway guys, great to see you here again. We'll see you next time, mate. Eh? Bye.